now it's decided to brighten up for our blog, which is nice. So I thought we'd look out the other side of my uh, my house this, this time. This is from the bedroom. This is the back of the terraces next door. Nice little sort of track in between us there. Back road. Uh, the blog is not going to be very long today. Or rather, there's not a lot of news, really. Um, I haven't got anybody fighting next week as far as I know. Uh, or anybody to report that has fought this last week. Um, apart from uh, Kyle Watson... Uh, who is the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu coach for the Hit Squad. He's got his own forum that uh, we're allowed on. He did really well at some really big uh, Jiu-Jitsu tournaments that went on. He entered the uh, lightweight brown belt category and won second place overall. He then entered the uh, open weight brown belt category and also won second place. Now these apparently really really high up um, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu tournaments very 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 high up indeed so um, to get second place in them is uh, is fantastic so well done to him I thought I'd mention that uh, on my blog this week um, my UFC 102 predictions are up just to let you know um, there's nothing to report at home at work um, I'm about to go back in tomorrow to see the second part of our new process, uh, which is the dollies. Last week we had the chiller change, and that went on okay. So uh, it just depends on how the dollies go. I, I don't know what the new dollies are like yet, um, or how that sort of works really, how that's going to change with all the stock and stuff. So we'll have to wait and see. Keep your eyes uh, peeled for uh, new further news on that. Uh, prayers. We are praying as ever for our forum moderator called Boomer, who is out um, on deployment uh, with the US forces in Afghanistan. Let's keep remembering him in our prayers until he comes home. It is a war zone out there. We're also continuing to pay, pray for Bonnie, who is recovering uh, from surgery, having suffered from lung cancer, which is caused by exposure to asbestos. Um, she is getting, I believe, further opinions on uh, what to do now in the way of sort of tidying up loose ends and the further treatment that she'll have to go through to make sure the cancer doesn't come back, that sort of stuff. I also know of someone who is, um, he is having twins um, and uh, there's a little bit of a complication in the... Um, in the pregnancy and they're not sure that both twins are going to survive um, which has been upsetting them greatly so uh, we should pray in our hearts for those people um, suffering there who wish to remain nameless so uh, we shall not uh, say their names but um, there, there are people that are uh, suffering there Bonnie uh, also has a niece um, who is pregnant and uh, she has developed cancer at the same time. Obviously that is going to make it even more complex to be treated. So uh, could we please hold her in our prayers as well? So there's plenty for us to be praying about. Um, so let's keep that up. Now uh, we're nearing my 80th blog in a couple of weeks uh, just before I go on tour to the US. Um, so I wanted to round up now the project that I did in honour of my 60th blog, which was basically uh, reviewing MMA websites. I've I had 81 websites uh, given to me. 60 awards have been given out of those 81. Uh, 21 were un remain unassessed. Uh, 44 were assessed, and 16 were given honorary um, rankings. All the rankings were divided, uh, ratings were divided into four categories. There was a category for the opinion poll, which was put on the forum, or given to a judge, which was uh, selected from the forum. The other three sections were mar uh, marked by me. There was one on style and layout, one on content and features, and one on interaction. Three points were available for all of those sections, giving a total of 12. And... There was a, a ranking system that was based on the uh, belt colours for that. Four and under, which would be subpar. 
uh, was white. Five and six needs a little bit more work. That was ranked as green. Seven and eight is purple. Nine and ten is brown. Both very, very respectable indeed. And eleven and twelve was black. If you've got that, rest on your laurels because you are pretty much perfect. So I'm going to go through them from the very worst to the very best. We'll start with those that got the white award. There were four of them. Those uh, with one point, I gave uh, an honorary title to the forums of Sherdog, since I call it Sodom. No one got two points. Two people got three points. There was Rio Chonin and Leonard Garcia. And War Machine uh, was the only person to get four points. So, um, yes, those all need uh, quite a little bit of work. Moving on to the green belt now. Um, there were seven people who got given the green award. Uh, at five marks there was just one, that was George Roop. Uh, at six marks there was um, James Wilkes uh, and David Johnson. And I awarded an honorary uh, award to the MMA Weekly Forum. So that's three. Um, three people also got uh, six and a half marks. Matt Hamill, Diego Sanchez and Joe Stevenson. Again, a little bit more work is required um, on those websites, really. Um, moving on to the Purple Award. 21 people were given um, these, uh, this award. Those with seven points include Levon Maynard, Cole Miller, Tyson Griffin, Sean Shirk, Antoine Britt, Gray Maynard and Tim Sylvia. So there were seven of them in total. Those who got eight marks include Dean Lister, Chris Wilson, Elsie Davis, Luke Caldillo, Marcus Hicks, Joey Scarola, Efrian Escudero. Um, I gave a, an honorary um, award out to the MMA Playground uh, and, an, and an honorary award out to uh, the Hit Squad website. Um, also, Sherman Pendergast, Uriah Farber, Shane Carwin, um, Kung Lee and Mike C also got that. So there was 14 of those in total. Moving on to the Browns, the Brown Awards. There were 17 people who got given these. Those with nine points include Martin Campman, Jason Reinhardt, uh, and uh, Quinton Jackson and Tim Boach. Then I gave um, honorary awards to Robbie Lawler and the WEC um, website there. Uh, six and a, sorry, nine and a half, so there were six of those. Nine and a half marks, uh, points, Josh Barnett, he was the only one to score that. Um, those with ten points include Joe Duarte, Jay Heron, Pete Spratt, Alistair Overeem, uh, Dan Henderson, John Fitch, and then I gave out three um, honorary awards to the Sherdog News site, uh, to the UFC website, and to a Matt Pena's uh, website as well. Ten and a half, so there were well, there were nine of those. Uh, ten and a half points, um, the only person to score there was Gabriel Rudiger with one mark. Uh, and the blacks now, these people are fantastic. We've got um, uh, those scoring 11 marks, Felipe Nova, John Alessio, Travis Luter, Joe Lozon, uh, and Rich Franklin and I gave out three honorary uh, awards uh, to the MySpace website, the YouTube website, those two are both invaluable, and SuckerPunchENT.com um, and those that got 12, um, well there were only two and they were both honorary awards, uh, of course to Jens Pulver, um, he's my favourite fighter so I would, uh, and to Matt Hughes because it is the best uh, website in the whole world. Um, and that really is my blog for this week.